Vixenex aerosol mist is used to temporarily relieve nasal congestion caused by the common cold, sinusitis, hay fever, and allergies. It works by narrowing the blood vessels in the nose, which reduces swelling and congestion. It is important to use this medication as directed by a doctor and to not exceed the recommended dosage. This medication is typically used as needed, and the best time to use it is when you are experiencing nasal congestion. When using Vicks Synex Aerosol Mist, make sure to follow the directions on the product package or as directed by your doctor. Before using the medication, gently blow your nose and close one nostril while keeping your head upright. Then, spray the medication into the open nostril as you breathe in through your nose and sniff hard a few times to ensure the medication reaches deep into the nose. Repeat these steps for the other nostril if needed. It's important to avoid spraying the medication into your eyes or onto the middle of the inside of your nose. After each use, rinse the spray tip with hot water or wipe it with a clean tissue and make sure no water gets inside the container. Replace the cap after each use. This medication provides only temporary relief, so it's crucial not to use it more often, use more sprays, or use it longer than directed to avoid the risk of side effects. Additionally, do not use this medication for more than three days to prevent rebound congestion, which can cause long-term redness and swelling inside the nose and increased runny nose. If this occurs, stop using the medication and consult your doctor or pharmacist. If your condition worsens or lasts after three days, be sure to inform your doctor. Some temporary side effects of Vic Synex aerosol mist may include burning, stinging, dryness in the nose, runny nose, and sneezing. If these effects persist or worsen, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist. If your doctor has prescribed this medication, it's because they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Most people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to seek medical attention if you experience any serious side effects such as changes in heartbeat, dizziness, nausea, headache, mood changes, trouble sleeping, shaking, unusual sweating, or weakness. Although very rare, a serious allergic reaction may occur, and it's important to seek immediate medical help if you notice symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not an exhaustive list of possible side effects, so it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. As for the best time to take this medication and the recommended daily dosage, it's crucial to follow your doctor's instructions. If you have any concerns about the medication, be sure to discuss them with your healthcare provider. Before using Vic Synex Aerosol Mist, make sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to this medication or to other similar medications. It's important to discuss any health conditions you may have, such as heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, or difficulty urinating. Also, inform your doctor about all the medications you are currently using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. It's important to note that children may be more sensitive to the side effects of this medication, so it's best to check with your doctor or pharmacist before using this nasal spray for children. If you are pregnant, it's crucial to only use this medication when clearly needed and to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. Additionally, consult your doctor before using this medication if you are breastfeeding, as it is unknown if this drug passes into breast milk. When using Vic Synex Aerosol Mist, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. This means that it could affect how other medications work or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's essential to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. It's especially important to avoid taking MAO inhibitors, such as isocarboxazid, linozolid, phenylzine, etc., while using Vic Synex aerosol mist, as it may cause a serious and possibly fatal drug interaction. Most MAO inhibitors should also not be taken for two weeks before treatment with this medication. Be sure to ask your doctor when to start or stop taking this medication to ensure your safety. If someone has taken too much Vic Synex aerosol mist and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while in Canada, you can reach out to a provincial poison control center. 
Symptoms of an overdose may include drowsiness, slow heartbeat, dizziness, and fainting. It's important not to share Vic Sinex aerosol mist with others, as using the same container by multiple people can spread infection. When it comes to nasal decongestants like Vic Sinex aerosol mist, there are several options available, some of which can be purchased without a prescription. It's always best to consult with your doctor or pharmacist to determine which product is most suitable for your needs. When using Vic Sinex aerosol mist, it's essential to follow the recommended dosage and instructions provided on the packaging. It's also important to use the medication at the optimal time to ensure maximum effectiveness. Vic Sinex aerosol mist is used to relieve nasal congestion caused by colds, allergies, and sinus infections. It works by narrowing the blood vessels in the nasal passages, which helps to reduce swelling and congestion. This medication is for use in the nose as directed, usually every 10 to 12 hours as needed. The best time to use it is when you first notice symptoms of congestion. Be sure to follow the dosage instructions on the product label and do not exceed the recommended dosage. Make sure to store Vic Sinex aerosol mist according to the instructions on the package, keeping it away from heat and light, and out of reach of children and pets. When you no longer need the product or it has expired, it's important to dispose of it properly. Don't flush it down the toilet or pour it down the drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on the proper way to dispose of it. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.